Welcome to this video. Parallax scrolling with a fixed camera is common in games and often used to give the illusion of flight like you can see in the image on the screen. This is something that often causes new developers headaches and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way of achieving this effect in Unity. For this demo I've used two assets from Open Game Art. One of them is by Peshvogel, so Unlucky Bird, that's this uh, flying bird here. The other one is craftpix.net 2D game assets and it's a pack of parallax 2D backgrounds and they're absolutely fantastic. Both of these assets are linked in the description. To start with, with a new Unity 2D project, I'm going to right click on assets, create a new folder, call it art and drag into there the seven images. Now six of those are the parallax images and one of those will be a stationary background. Unity will automatically have converted the images into sprites for us but we need to make a change to the six images we want to use for parallax. So I'm going to select all of those together, go into the inspector and change the mesh type to full rect, the wrap mode to repeat and click apply. And over in the game tab I'll select the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Next we need to set up some layers. In my case I have six images as parallax layers, one image the sky as sort of a background layer and I also want a game layer so I'm going to go top right to layers edit layers open up sorting layers and then add in all the layers that I need so that'll then be the sky the rocks the clouds the hills two hills one the trees the game and the ground layer next I'm going to drag and drop one of the parallax images into the scene reset the transform change the draw mode of the sprite renderer to tiled and then multiply the width by three I'll also set the sorting layer in this case for this image, it's the rocks. Now we're going to need a script, so I'm going to right click on assets, create a new folder called scripts and then right click inside that folder and make a new C-sharp script and call it parallax. I'll then double click on that to open it up in Visual Studio Code. So to make our parallax work we're going to need a serialized field which will be the move speed, so the speed that we're actually going to scroll. We'll need another serialized field which is going to be the direction that we're actually scrolling, so do we want the images to scroll left or do we want them to scroll right. To make the parallax scrolling function we're going to need to keep a reference as to how wide a single one of our textures is so we'll make a private variable for that. Inside start we'll call a function called setup texture that we haven't written yet but we're about to and we'll flip the sign of the move speed if we're actually going to be scrolling left. Now we'll define the setup texture function. So here we grab a reference to our sprite by getting hold of our sprite render and asking for the sprite and then what we can do is set the single texture width is equal to the sprite.texture.width divided by the sprite pixels per unit. That will give us then this 19.2 that we multiply by 3 when we dragged and dropped the sprite into the scene. Now we need to write the scrolling functionality, it's very very simple, we'll make a new function called scroll and inside here then we'll make a new float called delta and that can just be the move speed multiplied by time dot delta time and then we'll shift the position of our transform by that delta in the x. Finally a function called check reset where we'll check if the position of our image has moved further than one of our texture widths and if it has then we'll reset the position of our image. All that remains then is to call those two functions inside update and that's all the code we're going to need. Make a note of the fact that I'm assuming that the X position of all the images is at zero to begin with. If it isn't then you'll need to set up another variable so that you can also store the starting X position. Back into Unity, select the sprite, drop the new script onto the sprite, change the move speed to 8 and hit play and you can see that we have a nice parallax effect. If we go to the scene view you can see what's going on every time it hits the width of the texture it simply resets the position and it's so fast that the eye can't see it. I'll change the scroll position to scroll left to make sure that's working and that seems to be working okay as well. So we can drag and drop all of the images into the scene, select all of them at once, reset the transform, change the draw mode to tiled, make sure to multiply the width by 3, drag and drop the script onto them as well and then go through each one of them, change the sorting layer to the correct sorting layer, set up the move speeds, make sure the scroll directions are all the same, drag and drop our sky and reset the transform so it's in the middle and at the back of the image with the correct sorting layer and we should be ready to play. Just before doing that I'm going to fast forward through adding in a two frame animated sprite just so it's visually a little bit better and once that sprite's in then I should be able to press play and you should see that we've now got a very nice parallax scrolling effect. So hopefully that's been a bit of help for you and thank you very much for taking the time to watch.